Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join two pieces of paracord together. We're going to be using the so-called many method, which is a popular method of joining paracord. It offers a number of advantages, such as being a very secure way of joining paracord. It also looks quite nice. And finally, it is able to join polyester and nylon cords together, which you cannot do using the melting method. They just won't stick together. Now when we started out with paracord crafts, most of us used the melting method. It is simple to do and you can get on to weaving, which is the most fun part. But when the quality of your products increases, you will want to start using the many method because it is a lot more durable and you want your products to be of quality. Now I have been postponing this tutorial for quite a while now, mostly because it is hard to show on camera properly but also because it is a bit of a hassle to do. Always some cords get stuck and you need to put some effort into pulling them through when joining them. But I must say that when I'm starting a project I always do the many method because it is just better in the long run. So even if you dislike it at first because of the extra effort needed, I highly recommend using it and getting used to it. So with that said, let's get into it. So here you can see the supplies we're going to use. We have our scissors, lacing needle, which should be as sharp as possible, then a lighter and our cords. Now the first thing I'm going to do is cut the ends of my cords. So just cut your ends. Then pull the inner strands out and cut those as well. This will make your job a lot easier. Do the same with both ends. Once you've done that, we're going to now melt the ends in order to prevent them from falling apart or fraying. So just take a lighter and lightly burn the ends. These ends are finished and we're going to be working with the ends on the other side. So we're going to take one end and attach a lacing needle onto it. Now what we're going to do is pierce the cord with our lacing needle. Like this. And then pull our end through. Now pulling the end through is the hardest part of this process. Because at the joint section the cords usually snag and you need to pull them out by force. And we have the other end, which we're going to join the same way by attaching a lacing needle onto the other cord. and then piercing the other end, just like we did before. Now 
when pulling your cord through this is always a big hassle because the cord snag but just be persistent and you will be able to pull one cord through the other and once you've done that your cords are joined and simply pull on both ends in order to bring the joint pieces together and with this you have a very very strong bond which won't break up on you so guys i hope that this tutorial will come in handy this is a very powerful tool that you can use in order to improve your project but it also requires a lot of patience especially at the start and especially if you don't have the proper tools which most of us don't you will need a sharp lacing needle for the best effect but for the most of my use i just used a pair of pliers to pull the cords through it works reasonably well but it takes some time so with that said thank you for joining me and see you next time Thank you.